It's Yvonne, and welcome to Having You On. It's time for another edition of In The Crib. And today's topic is a how-to video, a how to put in an armature into a reborn baby doll. So I'm gonna show you step-by-step, step. so here we go. I have one of my reborns from my collection. She is the Haley Sculpt from Bountiful Baby. And what makes her ideal for adding an armature is her body slip. This is a three-quarter body slip. It is unjointed at the limbs, which makes it ideal for inserting an armature. It could easily feed through. There are also body slips for full-limbed reborns, which would make it ideal for also using armatures on full-limb reborns as well for easy posing. The first thing you're going to need is the armature. I ordered this armature, it is plastic ball jointed doll armature. I had to order two kits in order to get enough for this toddler size doll. I broke the two kits apart and snapped them together in order to have enough and to be the right size for this toddler doll. So that's what I did. I snapped it together and I measured it to get to the right size for this doll. So you can see the torso is quite long and as well as I want to make sure that I had enough for the limbs so it'll make it a little bit easier for posing. And I'm going to show you how to do this. And this limb still has a string tie on it. I never got around to putting the zip tie in it. So this one should be fairly easy to take off. So I'm just going to simply pull and squeeze to get it off and the limb will come off. I hope. <laughs> Gently anyway. There we go. It's coming off. There we are. Just like that. And I'm going to go ahead and take off all the limbs. Aha, I discovered a little bit of a problem. She seems to be leaking some of her fine glass beads, so that's good to find out, so I will be able to repair that. I simply discovered that her leg didn't have a plug in it, and I was leaking glass beads, but I'm going to be fixing all of her leaking problems, and you'll see what I'm going to be doing. Now I'm down to just the body slip. I'm going to remove what I need to remove to insert the armature. What I'm doing now is simply removing the f some of the stuffing so I can feed the armature through. I already removed the glass bead bags and they were leaking a little bit. I didn't want to make a mess of my table so I went ahead and removed those. And now I'm removing some of the stuffing. I think I might even remove all of it just so it's easier to insert the armature and then feed in the stuffing again. All right, here we go. I have the empty body slip and I'm going to insert the armature. The first time ever, so here we go. So I guess I'm going to start from the bottom up or the top up. I think we're going to start from the top up. Here we go and the neck and down we go yep that's the way to do it here we go insert the legs and we're gonna go down there we go that's the way to do it that's it and then the arms so we're gonna bend the arms through feed it through the body slip just like that like sort of dressing and putting clothes on a hanger. I don't know. Sort of a bendy hanger in a way, I guess. So just like that. There we go. I guess the last side is a little bit a little bit harder, but you can see it's pretty bendy. And cool. Just like that. And now I'm gonna 
reinsert all the stuffing just like that <laughs> it's fun it's like a little hanger I'll give you a little peek on my progress and what I discovered is you kind of want to wrap the armature and put it in the center in other words you don't want to have the armature like a spine um, the hard part of the spine so you want to put it in the center so I'm wrapping it inside by putting the padding on the front and the back at the same time I made the limbs a little bit thicker than they were before it was getting a little too thin here and the limbs the vinyl limbs are very very thick so it wasn't quite matching this was way too thin and skinny and this is a really really you know she has chunky chunky limbs and it just wasn't quite matching so I wanted to make this a little bit thicker so it would match better and now I'm going to be draining the limbs from all the glass beads that are in here because the glass beads will grind on these ball joints and not work, make them work very well so I'm going to be draining all the glass beads out of here I drained all the glass beads out of the limbs and I simply inserted more new fluff all the way to the top and created a passage for the armature. Legs, I added poly pellets and I only added enough for about right about here or so just to add weight to the feet and then I added polyfill all the way up. All assembled and the armature is inside and so much easier to dress and she can sit up now and posable. I just really, really like that. And yeah, I like that. So much easier, so much easier to pose and really enjoy that. I'm Yvonne, thanks for watching, having you on. Take care everyone. Please subscribe for more, more fun things happening. Take care everyone, that's all for now.